Hello everyone, welcome back to Music City Pretty. I'm Taryn and I'm going to show you my foundation routine. The reason why I'm making this is because I always get compliments on how flawless my skin looks and how great my complexion is, but you know, we got some pimps. We got some stuff that we need to cover. I'm gonna be looking over here periodically because I have a mirror over here. And we're just gonna get started. So the first thing I do is I get my hair out of my face, girl. We don't want any foundation in my hair. Then I take my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Just put this all over my face, just with my fingers. Next, I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and take my favorite foundation ever. This is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Normally, I do have spray tans on, but I haven't sprayed recently so this foundation looks a little bit crazy compared to my neck so of course I always I never forget this step always blend it down my neck also a little tip if you're wearing your hair up put some on your ears but I'm wearing my hair down tonight so I don't need to do that girl Next step for me is concealer. If you're a part of team no sleep like me, I need some type of under eye concealer. And I use the Boing Concealer by Benefit. This has a little pink tint to it, which is good because it counteracts the blue under your eyes for dark circles. Next, I'm going to set my under eye concealer with these two shades, I'm going to kind of mix them from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It looks a little light right now because I'm kind of over packing it on. Just wherever the sun would naturally hit, I'm going to put these lighter colors. I'm going to use a little bit of a darker powder. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation and I'm going to put this with a very fluffy brush where I would put bronzer or contour shades. Okay, got a little hair stuck in my eyelash. Grrr, you better get out there. Okay, then I do the little pat test and any place that feels like it hasn't been set that's a little bit sticky from the foundation I take this Revlon photo ready this is just a translucent powder I love it just because it's cheap and it works really well and I just basically dust that over my face over everything I did basically so next is for my favorite part girl contour and I'm going in with the Shade and Light palette again. I'm going to take these two. Take it. Do the first phrase. Right underneath. Okay, a little trick that I have learned. If you have a square face like me, you need it to, and you don't want it to look as square, Put the contour shade along your jaw, right here along the side. So we're going to contour the nose, and I just run this down the sides, run the contour shade down the sides. Because if you have all this definition on your cheekbones and then you got nothing going on your in your nose region, you're going to look a little bit washed out, girl, and you don't want that. Okay. Now we gon' blend, girl, cause we don't want stripes all over our face. Okay, I could keep blending, but I like my contour to be a little bit intense, girl. If your contour isn't intense, what are you doing? 
Next, we're gonna do some blush. This is my all-time favorite blush. This is my all-time favorite blush, and this is by. Just broke. This is my all-time favorite blush. This is by Milani. It's called Rose Dioro, and it's a little bit broken right now, so just gonna be very careful. I don't know why. It's just like a peachy. Rosy. It has gold shimmers in it, which I highly enjoy. And I just go to town with this, to be honest. I don't do it in any certain pattern. I kind of, I'll admit it, I kind of put it like how in the 80s they did it. I love putting blush just like right here and then just a little bit bringing it down. I don't know. It's just me, okay? Just me. Now for everybody's favorite time, it's highlighting time. Taking a fan brush, I'm using my Naked Illuminated from Urban Decay. This color is in Luminous. I'm gonna get some of that. I like girlfriend. Oh. Highlight, yes! Okay, we got a party happening in my hair right now. I'm gonna take my hula bronzer and literally all over. <laughs> just all over. This is just going all over the face. And then to match my face, the neck always has to match, girl. Unacceptable if it doesn't match. I probably shouldn't have worn these earrings, but it's okay. If I had a spray tan, which I normally do, I could probably skip the majority of this step. I don't, cause I'm never prepared. It's okay. Okay, that was it. I think when it comes to eyes, it's all about how you apply it and the techniques that you use. But I think with face, you just need to know your color. You need to know your skin tone, whether you're warm tone or cool tone and you just need to buy products that work for you whether you have oily skin or dry skin it's just trial and error I found products that I love and I kind of have combination skin so I hope you all have enjoyed I know I always feel better when I have my skin looking all fleek I will see you next time bye